Hello everyone, thank you for joining us for this webinar about Stonefly CDR365 Backup Solution, the affordable data backup in Microsoft Azure and AWS. Uh, before we start the webinar about the uh, backup software, uh, allow me to introduce Stonefly, we are the original innovators of uh, the iSCSI protocol established in 2000 and we provide uh, storage solutions, backup solutions and disaster recovery solutions. Uh, this includes on-premises infrastructure, uh, cloud-based services, software, and uh, many other services. We encourage you to uh, visit our website and um, get in touch with us. So, uh, CDR 365 Backup Solution uh, is um, a single affordable backup solution that allows you to set up your backups uh, using your existing backup infrastructure or by simply getting a software that enables you to uh, leverage your resources and set up backups of your mission critical files in uh, uh, Microsoft Azure commercial and government or AWS. Uh, I'm your host, Omar from Stonefly, and joining me uh, in presenting CDR365 is Kais, our resident CDR365 specialist. Hi, Hi everyone. Um, before uh, I indulge in the flow of this webinar, I encourage everyone to uh, ask questions if they have along the way, and we'll try to answer them as uh, as soon as we can. If we do miss out on a question because of the time restrictions, we will send you an email to do ask questions, uh, um, and we'll get to them. Okay, uh, so the flow of this webinar. So uh, in the beginning, I'll explain what CDR365 is, uh, what's complete hybrid backup solution, how you can set it up using CDR365 and set up data protection policies and data protection strategies that ensure uh, faster backups, easier uh, backups, and ensure data recovery within minutes and within a few clicks. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll also share briefly what you can backup with CDR365. From then on, Kais will take over and he'll discuss the main features of CDR365 and how you can set up a, a, a compliant backup solution and what kind of compliance you can agree, like uh, uh, FedRAMP, HIPAA, HITRUST, uh, CJIS, and many others, uh, you can satisfy by using CDR365. And then in the conclusive end, you'll discuss uh, how you can uh, get a free trial of, and set up CDR365 uh, uh, and leverage its uh, innovative uh, data services. Okay, so CDR365. Well, it's a simplified cloud backup solution. Uh, it gives you easy uh, wizards that you can use to set up, and you can leverage its automated data services to uh, classify your mission critical data, set them up on your on-premises infrastructure or on your uh, um, cloud uh, storage, and uh, set up backups or recovery from it. Uh, it secures your backups in Microsoft Azure or Amazon S3 using AES 256-bit encryption technology uh, during uh, at rest. And during transition, it secures your backups using SSL or TLS tunneling. It's a scalable backup solution. You can scale out to terabytes of backup, so, uh, backup uh, data. And uh, you can, using the data services, you can um, uh, amplify the speed of your backups and you can uh, efficiently use your resources like your bandwidth. Uh, usually we have bandwidth restrictions in our offices and we have limitations on how much backup we can use. So uh, CDR365 provides you bandwidth throttling services that will enable you to leverage your existing bandwidth and uh, amplify the speed of your backups and re reduce the speed of your recovery. So, uh, sorry, reduce the, the time of recovery. So uh, as I said, you, you can uh, backup your on-premises infrastructure, your servers or your uh, workstation in Amazon S3 or Microsoft Azure. That includes Azure Commercial and Azure Government. A complete hybrid backup solution. Well, uh, uh, experts suggest that you you should set up the 3 to one rule for data back protection to ensure the, the lowest possibility of data loss and the highest possibility of data recoverability. Uh, the 3 to one rule, uh, in its simplest essence, is the three stands for the copies of data you need to maintain, two stands for the types of storage media that, that the backup copies need to be on, and one uh, signifies that you need to maintain at least one off-site copy to ensure that your data is always recoverable. 
So with CDR365, you get uh, three copies of data. One is on your existing resource, the other is on your on-prem, and the third one you can have uh, on, a, on a cloud of your choice. Or you could have two copies in the cloud uh, and one copy on your on-premises infrastructure, so that's still three copies of data. Two types of storage media, that's one your on-premise resource and the other is cloud technology, and the offsite copy obviously being the, uh, the cloud uh, copy. So you get data redundancy, you get uh, cloud copies, you get the data protection rules set up very easily, and it ensures that you always have a way of recovering the data in the events of disasters like hardware failure or your uh, or a ransomware attack. Uh, uh, Kaiswell does in this further that you can set up the ransomware policy, you can set up ransomware protection policies uh, using CDR365, and it, it will always ensure that ransomware is not as big as a problem anymore if you have your backup set up effectively. So what what can you protect using CDR365? Well, you can set up backups for your virtual machines on Microsoft uh, uh, that are deployed in Microsoft Hyper-V or VM, VMware ESX or ESXi uh, hypervisors. It, it's compatible with Windows, with Linux, with Mac o operating systems. It, it supports Windows servers, Linux servers, MS SQL servers, and MS Exchange. Okay, so uh, the main feature of CDR365, Kais will take over from here. Uh, Kais, over to you. Thank you, Omer. Let me just uh, bring in the presentation. Okay, so okay, everyone. So let's uh, go towards the main features of CDR365. Um, as uh, Omer said, uh, CDR365 is a complete backup solution and a software, and it's an affordable software as you do not need to deploy any type of hardware. You do not have any other needs for the software, or you do not need an ID team to set up the software for you. All you have to do is install and enjoy. So uh, the first feature uh, which uh, is mentioned in this presentation is scheduling and real-time backups. With the Stormfly CDR365, you can schedule your backups so that they occur um, continuously, or you can set up uh, real-time backups. In real-time backups, it will back up the files automatically when a change is made. Uh, the other option is purge options, uh, which is basically a retention policy for your backups, uh, which you can set up uh, for your backups as per your business needs. We will go through each of these features separately in uh, each slide, so I'm just uh, giving you an overview of these features. A CDR365 gives you uh, flexibility to do uh, image level backups, do file backups, or a complete block level backups. Like if you want to do granular backups with the software, you uh, can do it with this. If you want to do complete block level backups yeah, or complete backups, you can do with this. And uh, one thing to mention here is that these backups are incremental backups. So the first backup will be a full backup and the rest of them will be incremental. Like it will only backup the files which have been modified or have been changed uh, during uh, a period of time. So you do not have to back up your full hardware, uh, full machine of the software. It will just back up the changed files. Uh, it notifies you uh, whenever an uh, backup job is done by its email notification. You'll get an email when your backup job is done or due to some reason it fails or it's not complete. So you'll get email notification directly to your inbox and you'll have insights on whatever is happening to your backups. Uh, you can uh, uh, select bandwidth for the software so that it doesn't use most of your bandwidth and doesn't slow down your internet. So you can uh, do bandwidth throttling as well. It does compressions for all your backup files, like whatever you do backup, it it will be compressed, so it will you optimize your storage costs as well. So let's go to each of these features separately. The scheduling and real-time backups, as you can see, uh, it's all wizard-based software, so it's very easy to backup with the software. So you can uh, see that uh, you can uh, select backups if you want to do it automatically. You can just uh, do uh, 
select the button uh, that I want to do it manually, or if you want to uh, make it to be done on a specific date, you can select dates from here. If you want it to be recurring, you just click on recurring, and it will give you options of weekly, monthly, yearly, as per your business needs. You can select them, or you can uh, do real-time backups, which is that uh, if the moment the file gets changed, it will be backed up. So you'll get a complete business continuity. If the file gets deleted, you have the updated version to restore. The purge options uh, is that most of the businesses uh, have uh, different needs, but most of them don't need to keep their old files in their backups uh, because they cost them a lot in their storage. So with this purge options, you can set up policies as per your business needs that you don't need files which are oral than uh, like one year, one month, or whatever time you want. You just ha have to specify that things from here and and with the purge options, you can uh, select um, retention policies for your files so that your old files gets removed from the storage after a limit of time. And uh, you don't have to pay for that storage uh, for the files which you don't need. As we said, it's bandwidth throttling. So you can utilize bandwidth uh, so that it doesn't use, uh, for example, many businesses needs uh, uh, more um, bandwidth in the morning because it's their working hours and they do not utilize that internet at evening. So you can just set up written, uh, policies from here for your bandwidth that it must use less bandwidth in the morning and use uh, more bandwidth in the evening so that it doesn't affect your internet speed. That's done with the bandwidth throttling. So uh, it's very easy here. As you see, all options are self-explanatory. You just uh, click on max speed and uh, define the speed here and that will be the speed software which uh, will use from your bandwidth. Uh, since these days ransomware is becoming a big threat for every business, uh, with CDR365 that won't be a, a threat for you anymore. It's just one click and you are protected from the ransomware. Uh, as you know, uh, CDR365 does encrypted backups. So whenever another software or uh, any uh, malware wants to make changes in your file, you get notified. So uh, this is a dialog box which is showing here. This is how it shows you, and you can see that these files wanna uh, make changes to your files, your backups. So you have the option to either allow them if they are from uh, any other software which you are using. So you can allow them if that's not, you can delete them and you're protected from ransomware. Unless you give them permission from here, they cannot uh, touch your data. So you're secure from the ransomware. As I said, encryption, it does AES 256-bit encryption on the source side. It uses SSL encryption on transit, and it does encryption on the server side. So your data is always encrypted uh, in the server. It's encrypted in the, uh, during transit, and it's encrypted at the server side. So it's 100% encrypted. Uh, the encryption key will be uh, uh, upon you, you can select the encryption keys to uh, encrypt the backup and no one else can uh, decrypt them uh, without those encryption keys. And um, all these options make uh, Stormfly CDR365 an affordable backup because it's uh, a software, it's easy to use, you do not need ID soft to set them up for you or uh, any IT knowledge is not necessary for it. Uh, it's uh, Optimize it optimizes your utilization rates. You can optimize your bandwidth, your files, and other stuff. The backups get compressed, so it will use less storage. And one more thing is that it's highly scalable. You can start from uh, small and grow as your business needs to grow. So you, all you have to do is pay for the amount of storage which you're using. You don't have to uh, buy uh, a lot. Like just buy the amount which you're needing and scale up as per your business needs. Uh, it, you can set up the data purging, which is the retention policies. You can do granular backups and you can do bandwidth throttling, which makes the solution uh, very cost effective for yourself. As uh, Omer mentioned in his slides that you can do backups to Microsoft um, Azure government. So when you do backups to Microsoft Azure government, uh, you get compliance. Uh, your, your files are HIPAA compliant, your files are um, 
uh, Fedrom compliant, your files are CGS compliant, so you get complete compliance with the software. Uh, people who run clinics or people who are in health industry, uh, they mostly, their data needs to be HIPAA compliant, which is, uh, CDRT C5 is best suited for them because it's HIPAA compliant. People who wanna, uh, government agencies, they can uh, do these backups, which is Fedrom compliant, CGS compliant, so you get complete compliance with the software. So as we mentioned, uh, uh, we'll let you know how you can get a free trial of uh, Stonefly CDR 365. Uh, it's totally automated. All you have to do is fill a form and you'll get a free trial of the software. So let me just show you uh, how you can get a free trial of Stonefly uh, CDR 365. Uh, you have to go to uh, Stonefly website and under products, there is CDR 365. Click on this product, and uh, once the product loads, here you can get all the details about this product, all the options to watch videos, and at the top, there is a free trial option. So click on this button, and here comes the file. Uh, fill out the form, and you'll get um, an email in your inbox, which will give you a backup. People who will sign up for this backup today will get one G, uh, TB of backup instead of 100 GB backup. So if you backup uh, now, uh, if you sign up for a trial now, you'll get 100 GBs of, uh, 1000 uh, GBs of uh, Stormfly 365 uh, as a free trial, which you can use, you can backup files, you can restore them and see if the software works for you or not. So let me just give you a quick overview of the software, how it looks. This is how the software looks and how easy the backup are uh, click on the backup and uh, I just want to do a file backup you can do image backups as well and uh, before uh, you do backups or uh, you have to log into the software you'll get these login details in your email and from the bottom select your license uh, you can uh, use all these licenses as per your requirements if you're using a server or if you're using a virtual machine or SQL server just select your backup from here a software from here, the license type, and it will, uh, all of these will have a different GUI. So I'm using the image-based backups. And uh, I wanna do backup the files. So click on files. Here it says, I wanna do a cloud backup or a local backup. And at the bottom, here it says that, click this button to enable ransomware protection. And if you click on it, you will be protected from ransomware and no one can uh, harm you with the ransomware. If they try to attack on your files, you will be notified and you will have the control to delete them or block them. So I just want to do a local or cloud backup or you can do hybrid backup. So I just want to do a local or cloud backup. This is the storage I can select. Uh, and yeah, this will be your storage account. As per your needs, you can use Azure, you can use AWS. You have different uh, uh, regions for Azure and AWS. You can use Azure government as well. So uh, to, uh, I'll show you how you can uh, get these. So just click next, name your backup plan. I'll name it uh, as it is. You, here are different configurations which you can select. You can uh, back up the NDFS permissions. You can back up everything. Every option has a help with it. Just hover on it and it will let you know uh, what that feature is and how you can use it. And uh, here is, you can completely back up a whole drive or you can uh, back up just a folder. I'm just backing up this folder. This is granular backups. Uh, you want to back up a specific type. So here's how you can back up a specific type of files. The help option. So you just start dot and extension. You'll get a backup of that files. If you don't want to back up uh, a few files, so you can set them down from here. Do you want to back up empty folders? Some businesses don't need few of their data to be backed up because that changes frequently. So you can just skip, click the skip folders and skip the folders which you don't want to back up. Uh, you can get uh, modifications and other stuff, everything. There's a lot of options, a lot of flexibility for you. You can enable compression and enable encryption. Here's the uh, encryption password. 
and this is the password without this password no one can decrypt your data so uh, i suggest you to keeping this uh, uh, data securely stored with you so i'm not doing the encryption right now this is how you do it the, here is where you can uh, place the retention policies like i want to say delete the files which are older than a week a month or a year so this is how you can set it using the defaults i just say next uh, you can do schedule a backup like or i can do manually i want to do recurring backup i just want to have weekly backups so you can do weekly backups i want to do backup every friday so it will back up all of my data every Friday, uh, the file which you have been selected. So this is how you can do uh, backups with this software. And if you like the software and decided to uh, purchase uh, the software, this one do next and next. I want to backup files. And this is the summary. Next and here. So the backup plan is ready and it will run. Uh, and if you decided to purchase this product, you have to come to this uh, Stormfly website and to this 365 product and click on buy now. And uh, let me just wait for a space to load uh, and uh, purchase it from here. Hey, sorry to interrupt you in the middle. Um, there's a question here about uh, how can I integrate CDR365 with my current Windows uh, infrastructure uh, by saying okay. Tarla? So uh, just to reiterate what you've already mentioned here, uh, I did mention that uh, CDR365 supports Windows Server. So to answer the question, uh, what Kaius is currently showing through the free trial, that's working on Windows infrastructure. So you can repeat yeah, the same that sort of works uh, on every, yeah. Uh, if you have a Windows infrastructure, uh, just uh, fill out that free trial form, you'll get an email, and from that email, uh, you'll get builds like this. Just download the uh, Windows build uh, from that uh, drive, install uh, from that email, install it on your system, uh, put your login credentials, uh, as uh, we mentioned that from uh, here, Put your wrong credentials, click OK, and you're all set up. And you yeah. can uh, back up, start backing up your files. Yeah, uh, and if you do have any questions, we encourage you to uh, uh, send us an email, or you could give us a call. Uh, we'll, the guys will mention those credentials later. But yes, this is supported on Windows infrastructure. It's supported on Linux uh, uh, operating system, and it supports Mac operating system as well. Uh, These are, uh, the, it supports Windows Server and Workstations, it supports uh, VMware and Hyper-V, it supports uh, Ubuntu, it supports Oracle, Linux, Fedora, CentOS, uh, it supports Mac, it supports a wide range of operating systems, so all you have to do is install it there. Yeah, so uh, just wanted to uh, make uh, let you know if you want to get a quote from this product, just go here, select your locations, AWS. We have these regions in AWS. Uh, we have these regions in Azure right now. But if you want uh, some other regions, we can definitely give you that. You can uh, put those in additional comments and uh, you can download your quote from here, putting your name and email, uh, download a quote from here, and we will get back to you if you want a uh, um, customized solution yeah and uh, just come to this slide okay so if you want more information as from I said you can uh, send us an, e an email at sales at stormfly.com give us a call or uh, visit our website and we'll be there to help you out so um, Omar, do you have any other questions do you have? Okay, here's here's a question. I think we should uh, answer this. The question is, where do I install the software and do I need a dedicated server by, by Lisa Phelps? Well, uh, it's not necessary to install it on a dedicated server. You can install it on uh, any device which you want to back up and uh, install it on any device where uh, you want that device to be backed and it will... Uh, um, back up that. That's that's simple. If you have a NASA storage mounted on your device, or if you have uh, a SCSI storage, whatever it is, it's on the same device. So install it on that device and back up it. You don't need a dedicated server. Okay, so you don't need a dedicated server for it. 
you just have to install on the device you want backed up and it will work. Okay, so I think that that's pretty much for this webinar. Thank you again, everyone, for joining us. And uh, uh, for uh, thank you. I think there are more questions coming in, uh, but we're short on time. Do send us those questions. We will send you an email back to uh, to you, and we'll answer all of your questions. Just to reiterate what Kwais already mentioned, uh, you can get one TB of storage in Microsoft Azure. Uh, if you apply for a free trial right now, and you can get a taste of the uh, enterprise level services of ransomware protection uh, and cloud backups in Azure uh, or Azure government, uh, uh, and see for yourself how the, uh, you can leverage CDR 365 and ensure data recoverability for your uh, uh, infrastructures or your servers uh, or your uh, workstation. Anything you want to add to that, Kai? Yeah, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, since uh, the webinar uh, time we have uh, reached our time, uh, we'll get back to your questions uh, uh, by email uh, as soon as we can. And uh, we will uh, uh, do contact us, give us a call, or send us an email. We will be uh, there to help you out. Uh, and uh, you can uh, also send us an email to an alternate email address, which is Q N W O R I at stonefly.com uh, so we can get back to you. That's my personal email. I can get uh, to you with all your answers. So thank you very much, everyone. Uh, and one more thing to mention here. Well, we will be sending you the recording for this webinar for your reference, and we will be sending you the presentation slides so, uh, for your reference. So thank you. Thank you very much.